Dbox is a public company. We're selling in more than 50 countries and uh, with significant customer base in theatrical, all local based entertainment, racing, professional simulation, of course, growing rapidly in home and gaming market. Quebec-based and TSX-listed D-Box is the leader in designing, manufacturing, and marketing haptic systems. The company's wide range of products it sells includes motion seats for cinemas and simulations to train truck drivers. We hear about VR, we hear about uh, brand connectivity, we think about, of course, the metaverse, etc. So there's more and more things going virtual. But the funny part is people want to real the live thing as they were there, to, to real thing. D-Box estimates the haptic industry is likely to grow from a $12 billion market in 2022 to a $40 billion market in 2027. 200,000 theaters around the world and more and more immersive experience to go. This is one segment that is growing. We thought about professional simulation. We used to have big simulator again. Now those nice footprint simulator to train people or cranes, industrial machinery, cars, etc. on a ride. Gaming, a billion user just in the PC market and more than 50 million spending heavily on technology. To better capitalize on growth and position itself closer to consumers, D-Box pursues partnerships with manufacturers. One example is a December 2020 deal with Cooler Master to integrate its haptic technology in a gaming chair. The good part for us as well is it's razor in the blade, right? When you have that chair, you want to have more content, more games, more movie, etc. We're providing as well all those blades, meaning we have a subscription model that we're doing to reach the consumer and provide us with all new content. For the Netflix of Aptic of providing various experiences. So this is how we cater by going through those partners. Currently, 75% of total revenue is generated through selling haptic systems and components. The other 25% of revenue is recurring the most notable of which is a revenue share agreement with theaters for each ticket sold. We see that recurring percentage of the overall revenue moving to 25% to 50%, based as well on the subscription-based model on the consumer side for all those content on gaming share and on theater share. And as well as we're moving to more and more volume to move to licensing structure with our commercial partner instead of selling the system. We're going to be licensing our design so we can scale and add thousands and hundreds and thousands of units in the future. 